I really hate my life. You ever felt that way that life really sucks and you just don't know what to do and you're up against all these life challenges, the biggest adversities you just don't feel that you can overcome? You know, when you hate your life, what is it that you do? How about considering the power of visualization when life really sucks? Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me in another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment and Video. Welcome to my studio, and today we continue the series on what to do when life really sucks, and that's the way it see, may seem to you. When you're feeling that life really sucks, <laughs> And realize you need to face up to life challenges like I've done, if you know my story. What do you do? Well, keep in mind that in the description area, keep in mind as you're listening to me, that in the description area down below here at YouTube is an access link called The Power Within You. It's just a, a wonderful video that helps you step by step to understand more about the power of visualization and how that will get you out of the dumps that you may be in and onto a life of happiness and, and success and what you really want. So, but also let me add before I continue that complaining and haunting yourself over regrets of the past or worrying about the future is just not going to help you. You may be preparing to climb, say, Mount Everest, okay? Or even more realistically, let's say, when you think, I really hate my life, why not perhaps just swim a lap around the swimming pool or a nice couple mile walk through the park or whatever? You know, you can make it take place if you can use the power of visualization through thoughts and perceptions to visualize it and think the results. Think them into reality. Let me explain. Your positive sensations about achieving, the, uh, your, your positive sensations about overcoming and achieving things, overcoming life challenges and achieving different undertakings that you want to accomplish in life will come back to you through positive energy for you in this world. Energy is of this world and your right-minded thoughts bring that energy forth within you. And you'll let go of the idea that your life sucks. By the way, also in the description area down below, I've got a link there with a blog article that details all this on the power of, of visualization, which is at my safe and secure website, of course, where my blog is located at. And it's, it's, a, it's a blog article on great remedies for stress and using the power of visualization along with breathing meditation, which I believe in. So I hope that you'll check out my article. But let's move on and say that the law of attraction, the power of attraction, the power of the universe, whatever you want to use, it's just a phrase, it's just a term. So these attraction principles have also been practiced for healing reasons. Although no one recommends that medicine not be considered, of course, medicine needs to be considered. And let me explain why with that. Well, thought amongst those like thoughts amongst everyone else and those like myself uh, who lecture and speak and author about the power of the universe is that medications can be assisted exceptionally by the usage of, say, positive, right-minded, powerful thoughts that project energy. Now, keep in mind this spiritual metaphysical principle from the Course in Miracles, this profound principle from the Course in Miracles, deep in the text. The Course in Miracles states, power cannot oppose, for opposition would weaken it, and weakened power is a contradiction in ideas. Now, let me repeat that because it's very profound, but very deep. Now, if you go to the article that I'm recommending at my website that's indicated here in the description area down below, it will help you to clear things up on this principle. The Course in Miracles states that power cannot oppose, for opposition would weaken it. And weakened power is a contradiction in ideas. What are your ideas about your life? Okay, think about it. Let's think about the, pl the placebo effect. You know, the sugar pill where you don't know it's a sugar pill, it's prescribed to you or whatever, and you, you think that it's going to cure something, but it's really not. 
let's let's consider this placebo effect being a result that must prove something. I mean that thinking can influence your health even when you're thinking that life really sucks. If individuals feel super and excellent about a medicine about a medicine or a medication they are they are being provided with, they will most likely recover from what they feel is ailing them. You know, this is true, whether the medicine is a highly established scientific formula or just a simple sugar pill. If they keep their focus on favorable, right-minded things, rather than the wrong-minded thoughts that are of weakened power of the idea of, I really hate my life, they have a much better possibility of survival. So with that all being said, follow this strategy and you'll, and you'll understand and you'll see more why that finding and understanding the power of attraction, the law of attraction, the power of the universe, the power of manifestation, whatever phrase you want to use for it can serve to assist you through those ugly life challenges that you're up against. Hey everyone, I hope you're thinking a lot about your own life and the natural beauty that's within you that I always like to say, because when you start extending that natural beauty to the material world, that is the power within you coming through you. And the world needs that. The world needs your love in your heart, your trueness that you are about, the beauty that you're about. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope that you will, because I'd love to have you as a, as a, as a, excuse me, as a subscriber. And also, please follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And those links are also down below in the description area as well. So until next time, I wish the very best to you and God bless.